and welcome back to my channel. So I've been doing some research and YouTube is huge. There are millions of people that go on YouTube every single day, billions of hits, billions of video watches happen monthly. So I thought in order to make it seem a little bit more small and manageable, I would introduce myself to you in a way that makes you feel like you know me a little bit better. So today I'm doing the 50 random facts about me tag. I've written them down, so let's just dive in. I'm born and raised Southern, but I don't really like a lot of Southern food, like collard greens, gravy, grits, sweet tea. Eh. When I was younger, my sister Megan and I were obsessed with Mary-Kate and Ashley. Obsessed, but who wasn't? I was actually a vegetarian for almost 10 years. I really, really, really want a pet dog, but I know that I don't have the space or the money or the time, so I'm gonna have to wait. Megan and I used to make up dances on rollerblades sometimes to the Spice Girls and also the Space Jam soundtrack. Oh yeah. My favorite smell in the whole world is garlic and onion cooking in some butter. <gasps> I have been to five of the seven continents. I think bathroom humor is so funny. Anything about butts or farts, poop jokes, they get me. My mom, my dad, and my sister all have curly hair, but I inherited my grandmother's straight hair. Thanks. Speaking of my grandmother, I call her Nona, which is, I guess, sort of like the Italian for grandmother, but she's not Italian. My dad grew up on a farm in Tennessee, and my sister and I used to love to go and play on the farm. It was 40 acres, so we had lots of space to kind of run around and get into all kinds of trouble. When we were really little, my sister and I were actually chased by a cow, not at my dad's family's farm, but at my mom's family's house. And it chases up a tree and staked out the tree for what seemed like ages. And my sister says I locked the door on her, but I didn't. If it locked, it was an accident. In middle school, I was really tall, really early, and I used to have nightmares about putting on high heels and walking through the halls of my middle school and having to look down at my tiny ant classmates through layers of clouds. I was very involved in high school, just very involved. One of my closest and very, very dearest friends, Samantha and I, have actually only ever been in each other's presence two times ever. We started out as sort of pen pals and then formed this really close connection and have been super close ever since. I can do this. Try it. I lived in Christchurch, New Zealand for a year and it is absolutely just as beautiful as you hear that it is. I absolutely love baklava. If I was going to be stuck on a desert island for the rest of my life and I, I could only take one sweet thing, it would be baklava. When I was in fourth grade, I went to the school at the end of my street, so I walked there, and sometimes I would pick up worms on the way to school and keep them in my desk as little pets. And if I felt like they were drying out, I would ask to go to the watering fountain and water them. Is that something I really wanna say? <laughs> I took drum lessons for a very short amount of time, and I was told by my teacher that I was actually pretty good. I guess you could say the drums and I really hit it off. If you watch any of my other videos, you probably know this, but I absolutely love Harry Potter. I'm one of those. Giraffes are my favorite animal and I think it might have something to do with the fact that they have really long legs and are kind of awkward, like me. I'm a big fan of craft beers and I actually know my stuff. I absolutely love writing letters. I have a master's degree in paleopathology from the University of Durham in England. Can you see my diploma over there? Once in Peru, I fought off a pickpocket. Well, I'll be honest, it was basically, he was like a 50 year old man who was about a foot and a half shorter than me and I just kind of grabbed him and shook him until I dropped my wallet, but it counts. I have been both bungee jumping and skydiving and I think bungee jumping is way scarier. I love visiting old houses and kind of pretending like I was the person that lived there or just imagining what life was like when people lived there and it wasn't like a museum. I had kidney stones when I was in grad school and it sucked. I'm saying this because maybe it will guilt me into actually finishing it, but I'm writing a novel. I went on a cycling tour of Southeastern Ireland with my dad and it was really, really fun. Even though I might've complained just a little bit one or two of the days because my butt was sore. When you cycle, your butt gets sore in the weirdest place. Maybe it's because I'm Southern, I'm not really sure, but I love telling stories. So a lot of times I get carried away and I just keep talking and talking and then I'm like, wait a second, what are you saying? And then... 
get really angsty if people are making unnecessary noise. Like if you were opening a bag of chips super, super loudly in the movie theater, I'm going to give you the evilest side eye you have ever seen. Anyone who knows me can agree that actually on the inside, I really am just an 80 year old crotchety woman. I think my spirit animal is a mixture between Wallace from Wallace and Gromit and the old man from Pawn Stars. They get me. This will not come as a surprise, but I absolutely love Antiques Roadshow and they came to Birmingham recently and I didn't get to go and I was so devastated. Maybe next time. When I was really little, I wanted to be a lion when I grew up. My senior year of high school, I was elected homecoming queen. I can't drink anything caffeinated after 3 p.m. or I will be up all night. I have to make sure that I pee right before I go to sleep because Otherwise, I might have to wake up in the night and go to the bathroom, and that is the worst thing in the whole world. My parents used to call me the boo and peer because I would boo-hoo, I would cry from my bedroom to the bathroom when I was a kid if I had to get up and go in the middle of the night. The struggle is real. I didn't realize this was weird until fairly recently, but my younger sister and I used to say scrub our teeth instead of brush our teeth. My favorite number is 11 because I was born on 11-11 and there are lots of other reasons too. I am really, really allergic to poison ivy. In fact, just talking about it right now, I'm probably going to get it. One of my biggest fears in the whole world, and this is so weird, is sinkholes. I'm terrified of them. At some point, I really, really wanna take some time and live maybe in London or a big city like New York, Paris, but mostly London. I can't touch my toes. I've never been able to, and I probably never will be able to. I just can't do it. When I'm bored, I like to look at real estate. Is that weird? That's not that weird. I used to work in a cupcake shop. I am related to the Wright brothers on my dad's side. Quick funny story about that, I mentioned that to somebody when I was in sixth grade and she said, oh yeah, well I'm related to a king. And I said, really, which one? She says, I don't know, but my last name's King. She was serious. The only food that I would consider politely refusing at a friend's house if they served it to me is sweet potatoes. So there you have it, 50 random facts about me. I hope you feel like you know me just a little bit better and I would love to know more about you. So if you feel so inclined, please leave at least one cute little tidbit about yourself down in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more and you haven't already. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.